4 million Americans on average would lose their jobs if we go into recession. Now, it could be historically as little as two, as much as six. The numbers the Fed was putting out there were kind of for the world's most mild recessions. About a year before you hit a recession, on average, the weekly jobless claims, number of people who are, who've gotten fired, who are or applying for unemployment um, benefits, um, those start to go up. Basically, a year before recession, companies start firing people. That's, let's call it the pre-recession. We are in that. I was gonna say, um, that seems to be happening no, right no, now. No, no, it, no, it's, it's seriously happening. So we are now six months into that process, mm. but the unemployment rate ne doesn't rise during that period. Why? There, there are so many open jobs, every business cycle, not just this one, we are at a record number of job openings. We have over 11 million, what would be normal, six? Mm. So it's going to take longer for that unemployment Way rate to longer. Start to go higher. So I think that the big surprise here is that the economy is going to stay pre-recessionary.